It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for a brand new video. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how to use the Sporting Waves Pomade, the Gold Can version of it. You know what I'm saying? Before I jump that off, one thing I want to say is I haven't used Sporting Waves ever since I was in middle school. You know what I'm saying? I used to try to get Waves back when I was a little kid, and as a kid, the only thing I knew about was going to Walmart, looking to see what they had when it came to getting Waves. And at that time, the things that caught my eye that was on the market was the Sporting Waves. Now back in the day I used the black can, you know what I'm saying? The black can has like this gel, gel gelatrol or whatever that's in it and it has a lot more chemicals inside of it. And I really didn't want to go down that route, you know what I'm saying? I figured I'd just stick with the gold can. But I'm gonna get into this video and show you guys how I would use Sporting Waves Pomade. So let's not waste any time, let's just jump straight into the video. Now, the only thing I don't like about Sporting Waves is on the front of it, they say maximum wave making formula goes on easy. I have to give a disclaimer for everybody that's watching right now. There is no product that will give you waves unless it's a brush you know what i'm saying so this product doesn't give you waves but this is a this is a pomade and this will help lay your hair down i'm six weeks wolfing so we about to see if this bad boy is gonna lay this wolf down all right now i know a lot of people may be wondering like jay lou are you really about to put this sporting waste stuff in your head after all this time about using natural hair products the one thing i want to say and i always try to make a mention of in my videos is i encourage the use of natural hair products and stuff like that but at the end of the day i understand there are some people especially Actually, there are a lot of kids that watch my channel they can't afford or they don't have credit cards and things like that you know what I'm saying so the only thing that they can do is go to the store like I once did as a kid cop some sporting waves or something like that and put it in their hair but I'm gonna show you guys the best way to put it in your hair as you read the back of the can it says dampen clean hair with hot towel to soften rub a silver dollar size amount of sporting waves pomade in hands until even layer forms work into hair in direction of desired wave pattern Brush into desired style. For best results, cover hair with sporting waves cap for a minimum of 30 minutes or overnight. Remove cap and finish styling. With the directions, when it says dampening clean hair, a lot of people tend to overlook that. The reason why my hair looks like this is because I just finished washing my hair because your hair has to be clean. Now I have a video that I'll link right above of how I usually shampoo and clean my hair and things of that nature if you wanna check that out. But, 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 that's the first thing you need to keep in mind. Your hair has to be clean and before you use this product, your hair has to be damp, you know what I'm saying? Now, moving forward, another thing I wanna point out is I don't always use a silver dollar size amount, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the length of your hair, you want to use a certain amount, you know what I'm saying? When you start off with four weeks, what you want to try to do is use a dime size amount and then depending on the length of your hair and, and how much you feel you need, you can move up to the silver dollar size amount. I'm not about to waste any more time, I'm going to just show y'all what I do. Alright, so after a wash, my hair is pretty wet, you know what I'm saying? You want to get your hair in a damp state and use a hot rag. So before I do that, what I'm going to do is comb my hair to ensure that I don't have a lot of water in my hair. Because when you're wolfing and you have a lot of water still in your scalp and in your hair, it can lead to over curling so what I'm gonna do is use a wide tooth comb and comb through my hair to make sure I get any water and things like this so let's get into it Now, while I was combing my hair, you probably noticed I have a lot of water still in my head. So what I tend to do to try to get my hair in the right state of making it, making sure that it's damp and not too wet, I take a shirt like this, you know what I'm saying? I got this from Walmart. And then what I simply do is just put it over my head like this and pat dry. All right, now the reason why you want to pat dry is because you don't want the shirt to absorb all the moisture out of your hair. Now, after doing that, what I try to do is go back into the comb routine and see if my hair is still too wet or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then once I find that right amount of moisture that's still left in my head, what I'll do is take a hot rag and put it on my scalp. Now, when it comes to the hot rag, as a kid, what I used to do and I thought I had to do was take the rag, run it underneath some hot water, and then throw it into the microwave. But, 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 one thing that can happen when you do 
that is it can get to the point to where it'll get too hot and when you put it on your scalp it'll burn your burn your forehead and everything like that so you really don't have to do that what you can do is take the water and turn it all the way to the hottest end that you can stand you know what i'm saying and let the rag run underneath there for about five to ten minutes you know what i'm saying you really don't have to do it for a very long time you want to just make sure you do it to the point to where the rag is hot now as you guys can probably see there's steam coming off of this you know so you want to put the hot rag on your head and basically just pat it down and this is where the original hot rag method originated from man i've been doing this ever since like i said i was in the middle school you know just because this was the directions that i received on the back of the sporting waves so you want to do this at least one or two times the reason why you want to do it at least two times is because the this little small rag will not cover all of my head so what i'm going to do is put it underneath the water once again let it get hot and then put it to the back of my hair all right now that that step is over one thing i want to insert right here is people tend to give a, a bad rep to products like these because they use petroleum in it but petroleum is a very great sealant you know what i'm saying so that's the reason why you really have to follow the directions because if you don't what will happen is if you go out of those steps you will put this on your hair and it will coat your hair and coat your coat your scalp when your hair doesn't have moisture in it you know what i'm saying but if you follow those steps that's listed on the back of the can what it will do is it will help ensure that you use it the way it was intended to be used you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm about to do is i'm, I'm about to get into the next step of styling my hair as y'all can see this is a brand new canister you know is i haven't used it it's the first time i use it and everything like that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take about a dime size amount about this much and put this into my hair all right now the direction says put it into your hands rub it into an even layer. All right, now with pomade, what you wanna do with pomade is you wanna just lightly tap it in the flow of your pattern. Now for me, I try to start from my crown and go out, but I don't go to my edges with this, you know? So what that means is I'm gonna take my hands and apply it like this. Now, the reason why I do that is most of the people that's watching most likely have 360, so you're gonna be brushing your hair to the front, you know what I'm saying? And you don't wanna get those products all the way on, on the edge of your hairline because it can tend to lead to getting these bumps on your forehead and things like that. Now, with that said, that doesn't mean that only unnatural hair products give you that line of bumps on your forehead because these bumps on my forehead actually came from using a natural product, you know? So at the end of the day, I'm gonna have a video in the future about how I get rid of that. But moving forward, what I'm gonna do is also also take a little bit more and apply it to my crown just so I can do the crown method and everything like this. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna take about that much more and then just tap it in the flow of my, of my crown. always wash your hands before you grab your brush. And before I start brushing, one thing I wanna point out is, man, when I first opened this can, I smelled this product and it brought back memories. You know, like back in the day when we was trying to get waves and things like that, they didn't have all the products they have on the market. They didn't have all these brushes and stuff like that. The only thing I really knew was the sporting waves, you know? So when you when you open up the can and, and smell that, that same fragrance from back in the day, you know what I'm saying? It, it brings back memories and stuff like that when you was a kid trying to get waves. But it's 2017 and I'm gonna show y'all why this stuff is still on the shelf, you know what I'm saying? How you can get waves with it. So let's get this brush session in and I'm gonna show y'all what that brush do. All right, today I'm gonna be using the Wave Enforcer 540, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm using sporting waves, I figured I'd use a brush that you can also find at Walmart, you know? Now, because my hair is freshly washed and still damp, it may take a little bit longer for me to lay my hair down. But at this point, I'm gonna brush my hair till it's drier just because I have products in my hair now. It typically takes my hair about 15 to 30 minutes to dry while I'm brushing it, you know what I'm saying? So that's about the right amount of time that you need every single day to be able to get waves. So what I'm about to do is just finish off this little brush session and then rag up and show y'all guys how I rag up with when I have products like this in my hair. So as y'all can see, sporting ways my hair is dry, so the definition is coming back a little bit more as I, the more I brush. And that's kind of what you want to look for. When you're woofing, your hair is going to be sticking up, it's going to be poofy and things like that, especially after a wash. But whenever I apply a pomade or anything like that in my hair, it's always good to do it this way just because it locks in the moisture from the wash and it also helps seal in that moisture, you know. And at the same time, I can actually see the areas on my hair on my head that I need to brush a little bit more to bring back the definition because typically if I don't see definition, it's mainly because my hair isn't fully dry or I haven't brushed enough in the area. And so just finish off this little brush session, plastic bag, and then rag up. All 
All right, now one thing that's not on the directions, but something that I highly encourage that you do is take like a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then just rub your hair in the floor of your pattern to be able to help lay your waves down a lot better, especially if you're in a longer wolf like myself. All right, now once you're done with the plastic bag, before I put my do-rag on, especially once I put products into my hair, what I typically do is take a paper towel, you know what I'm saying, like this, and then run it underneath some hot, warm water. And then once I have it like that, all I do is simply rub my forehead to make sure that I don't have any products that will be on my forehead. This is something I've been doing just to try to avoid getting those bumps right there. And then today, I'm gonna be using a Wave Builder do-rag. Now, I'm gonna use this is because this is another product you can find at Walmart, you know what I'm saying, it's very cheap cheap and inexpensive. I believe this is the seamless one. When I put my do-rag on, you don't want to drag it from the crown all the way to the front of your head. What I do typically is put it right there. I just lay it on top of my head because if you drag it from the crown to the front, what you're doing is you're pulling the products from your hair all the way onto your scalp and everything like that. And that will lead you to getting more bumps in your forehead. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna also take a stocking cap. This is a boo-boo cap, you know what I'm saying? Put this on my head like that. And then from there, what you do is take your hand, put it on your crown, and then pull down to make it snug and tight. Once that's done, pull the stocking cap down to where you want it, take the do-rag, and make sure that the flaps are flat. You don't want them looking like this. You wanna make sure you take the, the flaps and spread them out to make sure that they don't dig into your skin. All right, now that that's done, what you want to do is leave a do-rag on for at least 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? For me, I'm going to try to leave it on for the, for the rest of the day, and I'm going to unrag in the morning and show you guys what the results look like. But yeah, so that's it for right now. What I'm going to do is go work out and everything like that, and then I'm going to unrag tomorrow morning and show you guys the results. All right, so it's the next day, and one thing I want to say before I jump start this video is I appreciate you guys just for trusting me because some things that you guys may not take in consideration is the fact that once this camera goes off or once I start editing the videos, there's a lot of things I can do on or off camera to try to make my waves look good. But for me, I try to keep it as real and as, as honest with you guys as possible, you know? So I say all of that to say, when I first woke up, I was in a rush to get, get to work, so I wasn't able to shoot the video on ragging and show my progress. But once I got to work and I got to a point to where I could take a break and took these pictures and I'm gonna show y'all right now. So as you take a look at these pictures, one thing that you will notice is my hair looks laid, but at the same time, it looks fuzzy and it looks kind of mad and things like that, you know? One thing I want to point out is you have to keep in mind that I had just freshly washed my hair and whenever you have water in your hair, it makes it a lot more elastic. And what that means is you simply lose the definition of your waves. So that's where the term bouncing back comes from and you have to let your waves bounce back. So that's how my hair looked fresh out, out the rag and everything like that. Now, when I first woke up and took my do-rag off, my hair was very laid down, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna lie, I did not like the way that my waves looked because they looked matted and then they kind of looked smushed, you know? So, but as time went on, and as my hair dried out a little bit more, the definition of my waves came back and I was able to make a better decision. Now, with all of that being said, I just got back home from work and everything. And as you guys can see, my hair is still laid after a long day. It's a six week wolf. I'm gonna comb my hair a little bit later, but I wanted to show you guys how my waves look after a long day at work and everything. All right, so as you guys can see, definition came back and my waves normally look like this. You know, you guys can go back and check my videos just to see. But for the most part, this is how my waves look. Now, I haven't been brushing as much as possible simply because I was at work. And when I'm at work, I try not to brush, you know. But with that being said, my hair is still laid down. And with a six week wolf, let me show y'all the length that my hair is at right now. So let me just start from this side right here and comb up. All right, so taking a look at my wolf, as you guys can see, my hair is pretty 
thick and, and long, you know what I'm saying? So, so when it comes to judging this product, one thing that I can say is this product does have maximum hold on it, you know? So it was able to lay my hair down all the way through until I got off work and things like that, and it's still laid in. A lot of people tend to bash pomades and stuff like that, especially the unnatural ones. But one thing I can say is once my hair bounced back from the wash and everything like that, the definition of my waves came back and I don't really have anything negative to say about this pomade. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna brush my hair back down because I ain't trying to look like Mr. T for the rest of the video, you know what I'm saying? So y'all just give me a second. All right, so I'm back. As you can see, my waves are laid back down and everything. So for my final assessment, like I was saying, a lot of people tend to bash pomades, especially unnatural pomades and everything. But I just showed you guys the results that how my waves will look by using this product. Now, the feedback that I have about it is you have to keep in mind that this is a pomade. And because it's a pomade that has petroleum in it, nowhere on this can does it say it will make your hair shiny. The main reason for pomade is to help hold your hair in place, you know. So if you don't have trained waves to lay down this will help aid in that process but it's not going to lay your hair or, or your waves down because my waves are trained to lay down this product simply holds my hair in place you know and as you guys can see it's the summertime as of right now normally when I just only have oils and butters my hair tends to poof out a little bit more because oils and butters don't have the same hold as a pomade you know what I'm saying so for me personally if I was trying to push a product or if I have my own product anything like that one thing that I would be trying to do is tell you guys no you shouldn't be using stuff like this you should only be using natural products you know what i'm saying you should only be using my product but that's only if i was trying to push something and, and, and get over on people now the reason why i wanted to make this video is because there's a lot of people that come to me and they ask me questions about hey j lu can you do a review on some products that are uh, more affordable you know what i'm saying can you do a review on sporting waves can you do a review on wave builder pomades and stuff like that so for me personally i'm not one of those elite waivers that, that, that tend to think that I'm gonna only use natural products and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just hair. Your hair is not gonna get messed up from one application of using this type of stuff. And the funny thing is, a lot of people don't know, but I still use Wave Builders Cocoa and Shea Palmade, you know? Now, I don't wanna deviate too much on that whole natural versus unnatural thing, but to wrap this video up, the last thing I wanna say is when it comes to the Sporting Waves Gold Can Edition, you know what I'm saying? This is a really great product for how much it costs. When I went to the store, it was about $2.50, you know, plus tax and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it does what it says that it will do, and that is give you the maximum hold for your waves. If it was the wintertime, my hair would be a lot more laid down. So the fact that it's summertime and I'm able to still hold my wolf down and lay my hair down, that shows me that this product is worth it. Now, if there's another product that you guys want me to review that comes to being something affordable or something that's easily accessible, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. To my side are some videos that I made for you guys to help you all out and everything like that. But it's your boy, J. Lou. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. At the end of the day, I hope you guys have a great week. Salute.